Man, you really can't make this up, huh? It is almost as if the gods of fishing watched the previous two videos here on the YouTube channel. So they kind of heard, you know, meow meow. And they were like, Leo, we're going to give you the perfect day for you to do some cat fishing on the Skuku River, right? Check this out. Cloudy, a little bit of rain throughout the day, right? All right. Let's do the equipment check. Ultralight, high low rig, EPF, Eurotechno prototype, check. We got here the pan combo with a pan pursuit 2 plus the slammer 3, right braided line, high low rig, check. We got the Jacko egg bucket, check. And we got here, well, all right, this is just uh, St. Croix with a Cast King Pontus bait feeder. And this one has actually a slip sinker set up with a smaller hook because you just never know, right? Check. And needless to say, okay, needless to say, of course, we got our big net over here, okay? Let me tell you all something, okay? When I bring this big boy out here, you can't even see the top of the net. You know that I mean business, right? Last thing, we got our cut bait from the previous YouTube video. Check! Man, let's put some bait on. And let's catch our first catfish of 2023. Oh, 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 that's movement. Movement on the second rod. That was 100%. This is 100% a hit right here, baby. 100% a hit on the cut bait. We may have our first kitty of the year over here. Easy now, easy. First kitty of the year coming up, baby. First kitty of the year. Ooh, feels solid too. Not bad, not bad. Not bad, son. I don't think I would need the net for this one, but got the net right behind me just in case, you know? Been a while, been a while since I've landed anything bigger than two pounds. Oh yeah, look at that band, huh? Don't you like that band? Yeah, we don't need the nets for this one. We just gonna flip it. Uh, come up here, kitty. <laughs> oh man, it's all wrapped up too. Easy now, but it's in the mouth though, right? I'm gonna unwrap it. Oh yeah, oh yeah, you see that? Circle hook in the mouth. E hey, man, let's unwrap this dude. Let's unwrap this dude over here real quick. Our first catfish of 2023, all right? What did I tell you all, huh? What did I tell you all? The golden shiner, my friends. The Notemigonus Chrysoleucus, yeah. It bit on that one. I'm running it kind of like a test, but this fishing rod right over here, I got golden shiner. And that one back there that didn't get a single bite so far is got a spot tail shiner well that being said we got our first kitty of 2023 and of course you know i'm gonna measure it real quick right since this is not exactly a big fish it is more in the range of i would say two pound stops i just decided to put it on the leaper i got my rapala a scale over here 50 pound scale right and we don't want to put the scale through the gills so i just put it through the lipa and there's the number right over there right which is one momento yeah two and a half 2.42 right so as expected hey it is still my first fish bigger than two pounds in quite a while right 
So there you have it. First kitty of 2023. Obviously, this counts as a new species for our 2023 marathon. So that's a big bonus. Oh, heck yeah. This is a great way. Great way of starting our fishing session out here. Hopefully the next one though is going to be in the range of five pounds, huh? You never know. Let's throw them back in the water. Boy, this catfish not dumb at all. Didn't even touch the one, the lower one. It went directly for the juice with a higher hook. This one is the is the belly piece right here, right? It still got some of the ink trails over here too. Smart man, smart. Asian catfish, you feel me? We Asians usually go for the belly part of everything, right? Pork belly. You go eat sushi, right? Toro sushi. That's the belly of the tuna. All right, just cast it out there. The water around here is in the range of 10 to 15 feet deep. This is the beginning of a hole right here on the river. Meaning that if you just go a little bit to the right side over here, it's shallow and then it starts to get deep right over here, right? Think of this as a big creek, you know? You have the rapids, the run, just that in this case, you could have fish over there too because it's deep enough, right? And then you have the deep pool of water right around this area. All right, this is it. That's the waiting game. Put it here in the rod holder. Make sure that the line is tight, okay? That's how we like it, okay? We don't like loose over here. We like it tight. Has to be tight so that when it bites, right, you can really, really see it like that. That's beautiful. Perfect. Look at that cloudy day. It's still raining a little bit out here. I'm telling you, perfect weather for catfishing. How's it going? Yeah, one catfish so far. Yeah, that's right. What do you use? Cut bait. Yeah. Just cut bait. How big are they? Uh, the one that I caught just now, two and a half pounds. We're going for the one, uh, you know, above five. So we'll see. Oh, uh, 2.2. Uh, 2 so with a Pennsylvania license, you're allowed to have two poles, right? I'm sorry? Pennsylvania license, you're allowed to have two, you have three rods, huh? Yeah, in Pennsylvania, with a fishing license, you can fish with three poles. Okay. I'm yes. From, I'm from Wisconsin, but you only fish with two. Oh, I see. Yeah, Pennsylvania in New Jersey is three. Two, three. Huh? Yeah. Oh, look at that, look at that. You see that? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. You brought me some luck right here, I'm telling you. Oh, yeah. Ah, this feels a little bit better than the last one. They're very active today. Very active. You know, water temperatures on the rise. We just had some rain yesterday. That's right. Ah. All right, hopefully this is going to be bigger than two and a half. We'll see. Oh, yeah, he's fine, boy. <laughs> I love it. They're going to close the drag a little bit. This one pulled really good too, that's the thing. All right, let's see, let's see what we got, fellas. Very active, only five minutes after the last one. Yeah, all right, a tad bigger than the other one, but eh, it's still not the one that we're looking for. Look at that, huh, right there. Got tangled on the line again. For this one over here, I think I'm going to use the net. I'm not going to risk it. So let's grab the net here real fast. Ah. Easy now, big fella. There we go. All right. Ah. So there you have it. Yeah, that's what we're going for today. This is still a smaller one. Is it a black catfish? Oh, this is called a channel catfish. Yeah, channel catfish. That's the one. That's the one we're going for. This one is just a little bit bigger than the last one. Yeah. Now I'm gonna take good care of it. I'll hook it, put it in the photo, take a photo of it, and just let it go. Yeah, look at that. Came right off. See that? It's nice. It's nice, right? Yeah. 
This is definitely one of those days. Let me tell you, it, it is one of those days, okay? Three and a half pounder right here, okay? Three and a half pounder, 3.65, meow, meow. It is time to release this guy here because we got a fish on the spot tail shiner. Look at that. Holy smokes. Let me tell you, it's that type of day. It is that type of day. Like I told you all, it is like the gods of fishing. It is like the gods of fishing. They just heard I wanted to do some catfishing, you know? They heard I wanted to do some catfishing and they said, Boy, we got you covered. Oh yeah, look at that. Look at that. On the spot tail shiner. Although it is, it's still 2-1 for the golden shiner. The St. Croix rod, I can't, <laughs> St. Croix, I can't really flip it by the rod. So I'm just gonna pull by the line over here. This one doesn't really need the net, okay? Uh, another, this one a little bit lighter, maybe two pounder, something like that, right? So winter time, you come down here to the river, to the Schuylkill River, doesn't have to be particularly this fishing spot, right? Anywhere around here, okay? This is what you'll be catching, all right? Sometimes one after another when the action is hot. And the action, my friends, is hot right now. Oh yeah, boo. Chains. Real nice, real nice. Two rods outside of the water, big mass had three people stop by to ask me questions right when you're fishing in an urban environment you can hear the urban noises right this is what i really really like about it when you're fishing this type of environment people <laughs> people will stop and ask questions but that's good i like that kind of stuff you know all right rebate throw them back man i love my high low rigs but every time a catfish comes up on the high low rig look at that it leaves a mess for me to fix so while i'm fixing the stuff let me give you folks a few pointers on you know if you come down here to the school river right a few things that you should know first and foremost catch and release of this catfish is highly encouraged okay the government doesn't really recommend you to eat any of the fish out of this river and that's because the Schuylkill River is actually connected to the Delaware River which if you know your Philadelphia history you know it used to be very very polluted back in the days in particular at the end of the 1800s right for the last 100 years or so they have really put an effort to try to fix this river and thankfully it has been working however it is really not fully healed yet all right so that is one thing that you should know the second thing that you should know about it is there are rules and regulations right here that are very specific to the delaware river and its title tributaries and one of them this is extremely important is that when you fish any tidal tributary of the delaware river or the delaware river itself with bait you must use non-offset circle hooks okay does not matter what you are targeting so if you come here to the school river and you are so keen bait does not matter what species you are targeting you have to use no offset circle hooks i got gamakatsu on all three rods over here even the ultralight for multi-species it's got size age octopus circle hooks okay that is extremely important i don't want anyone coming over here and breaking the law if you're going to fish around this area make sure that you look up the regulations right there are regulations for the state of pennsylvania done by the pennsylvania fish and boat commission and in that same pamphlet in that same manual there's a specific area for delaware river and its tidal tributaries you need to follow the regulations 
for both of them all right okay biggest of the day so far three and a half pounds i'm not really satisfied yet i mean come on right it would be nice it would be nice for us to at least catch a five pounder plus i've been out here only for 30 35 minutes i don't want to jinx it the action has been great hopefully it will continue being great we will see stay tuned once you use this net one time become super filthy oh whoa, whoa, whoa. easy bro i'm cleaning the net i'm cleaning the net man easy circle hook don't need to set the hook man circle hook baby easy bro uh, all feels the same size though well we can't fish you never know it may be big it may be big you don't know until you see it you don't know until you see it come up here big fella oh yeah winter time fishing i am not going to complain this type of day in particular oh ooh, son dude look at that i'm rolling and everything well we do have the net i was cleaning it anyways may as well use it right would be a shame not to use the net come up here all right lift it vertically as always there we go oh, man it's all about the same size though what is going on here can you can you go down and uh call your great granddaddy for me <laughs> that's the one that we're looking for you know your great granddaddy colors on these fellas are pretty interesting too some of them are kind of grayish other ones are kind of olive olive grain all right let me take this hook out here real quick look at the color on this one huh some of them are kind of gray some of them are kind of yellowish olive style right hmm can't make that up it's a nice it's a nice sample though it's a nice sample look at that huh beautiful school river channel catfish making noises too look at that it's kind of drumming huh fascinating that's that's the reaction when they see the asian you know they're probably wondering dude what is this you know was just eating some food down there <laughs> alien took me away from my home <laughs> uh, time to clean the high low rig again biggest one today so far was three and a half pounds i'm still looking for that uh five pounds plus out here but the action has been pretty okay so i'm not i'm not really disappointed i got golden shiner on this rod right here spot tail shiner on that rod and my little one at the back there the ultralight i got wax worms you know multi-species for whatever bites right although the little rod hasn't gotten a single bite today so far told you all man water temperature is on the rise Woo, boy this catfish go nuts no doubt one today so far was three and a half pounds i'm still looking for that uh five pounds plus out here but the actual oh easy easy i'm posting for the inner circle man take it easy oh man that one didn't get on did it i oh oh, oh oh he came back he came back put the phone down there he came back take it easy on me take it easy is this fish on is this fish? oh man i had it too bro Ay, that's the price you pay for work well this is all a job <laughs> i mean <laughs> this is all a part of the job social media is the job so that's all right that's all right it will it will come back you know i'm posting stories here for the inner circle on the secondary instagram account right 
full fishing reports you folks are seeing this video like what one week after this fishing session they see it on the spot they know exactly everything that happened out here on the spot so that you know if you're a part of the inner circle right today is the 6th of the january you could come out here on the 7th and just do this yourself makes sense right all right well let's wait for the for the next bite now take it easy big fella it's a circle hook is it on it's on oh 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 yeah, it's got some weight to it huh is this the one that we're looking for uh, i don't know let's take it easy with this one right here the bite was very subpar you know it wasn't like woo you know but during the winter time sometimes the big ones they're lethargic too so they don't really do the summer you know just go and pull drag right they do the little yeah like that we'll find out soon enough but it's got some weight to it this one i think it's gonna be our biggest one of the day so far oh yeah it surfaced already surfaced already like a blue catfish yeah he ain't that big <laughs> it is not that big at all man son i'm gonna use the net regardless for this one but <sighs> easy now big fella yeah clearly overestimated this one thought it was going to be the the fish you know but uh no it's just a regular regular chani on the belly meat again look at that dude belly meat's on fire today belly meat it's all about the same size look at that this is the sizes for today right here on the river right hey i'm trying out here you know it's not like i'm not happy catching these though i'll tell you that each catfish from here is a lot of fun look at the colors huh look at the colors and patterns on that dude check that out can you folks see it the GoPro doesn't really give you depth when it comes to shooting the videos, right? But I can tell you that this right over here, this river is almost hitting high tide. And we came here early today when it was low tide. So we, we've been out here for, for a little while. The wind has picked up too. Let me tell you it already feels cold when it is just 40 degrees fahrenheit out here when it's 40 degrees and windy boy feels like 32 you all know the gig anyways that five pounder today didn't really show up that was a little bit disappointing not going to lie i was really hoping to catch like a real nice one for you folks but that being said, we did add one more species to the 2023 species marathon, right? We came out here with a goal. We caught the bait in the previous YouTube video. And guess what? We accomplished that goal, right? I can tell you all something, okay? If you, if you were planning doing some catfishing out there, get yourself some of this right here man this golden shiner okay the spot tail shiner i mean it's okay but this one right over here in particular 
the juicy belly part right over here let me tell you you can't go wrong the notemigonus chrysoleucus is a oily species of fish right you punch that thing out there man whoo let me tell you if there's any catfish around they go crazy for it you know it's like that filet mignon for it's like that new york strip for them you know but anyways this is it for today time for me to go back home and do some editing including editing this youtube video right so let me tell you something okay it is supposed to get cold it's starting this afternoon and going into the weekend i can't wait to go down to florida and start catching all the species down there i'm leaving next monday so i'll see you guys <laughs> i'll see you all next time hopefully not in the tundra okay thailines and take it easy